Hi, Jim McGarry, President and CEO of NSSEA, the Association for the Educational Products Marketplace. And today I want to talk with you about our latest strategic partnership. I am at the American Institute of Architects Committee on Architecture for Education summer meeting. And we're going to talk about our latest partnership and the strategic initiatives that are underway to make Ed Spaces the best meeting for our industry. And to introduce to you John Dale, Principal and Pre-K Studio Leader from Harley Ellis Devereaux and Secretary with the CAE Advisory Group. John, thanks for taking some time to meet with us today. Thanks very much for having me. It's a pleasure. Well, we're really excited about the partnership that we're putting together with the CAE, and we know that you participated with us on the planning committee as we're designing and creating this new uh, event called Ed Spaces. Tell us a little bit about your experience with the planning committee and what you think the results were. For me, it was interesting to hear the different perspectives, people who are directly involved in manufacturing, people who are organizing from a very different point of view, and then several organizations that are really um, working at parallel issues to ourselves, like CEFBI. Great group of people, um, really interactive uh, and very productive brainstorming. And in terms of the ideas that came out of it, how do you feel they're being implemented based on what you see happening at EdSpaces? Well, I think this is a great um, partnership, really. I see a lot of content that will be a benefit to architects. Um, I think we are, of course, obviously interested in having deeper relationships with people who create furniture that we use in our schools. We're interested in, in thinkers on different levels and educators. And so we see this as a great um, plus. The meeting actually kicks off with the uh, educational facility tour that the AIA CAE is sponsoring and putting together for us. So why should an architect participate on this tour? Well, we're going to go and tour some of the best architecture in the San Antonio area, specifically relating to learning. But we mean learning places in the broadest sense. So for example, we're going to go to the Botanical Gardens. That's a very unique kind of a learning situation. And we're going to go to a special school designed for people with hearing needs. Uh, that school is designed by Lake Flato, a, a firm which is probably one of the premier design groups in the San Antonio area, very well known across the country. Basically, what we like to do is to create a very specific connection to the places we visit so that our learning and our experience doesn't all take place in conference rooms, but we're actually out in the field. We'll probably have some presentations by the people who designed the spaces and some panel discussions as we move around during the day. It will be a great learning experience and it will be a very concrete one. Well, and, and one of the things we've talked about is the fact that Ed Spaces brings together all of the key stakeholders in, in creating learning environments. So we've got the grant program that's bringing schools and colleges, and certainly the manufacturers and the dealers are there. And with, with you and CEFPI and IIDA, we're bringing the design community together. So it's really kind of a unique venue that we've put together. How do you think that your community will respond to that? I think it's very exciting given the partner organizations CEFBI, uh, USGBC, you, you brought together some amazing partners to make this happen. And for architects, that's very important. We know that we need to operate in multidisciplinary teams. We know that a lot of different people contribute to the total environment. And so I think this is a great opportunity. Thank you for your participation and look forward to seeing everybody in December at Ed Spaces. Thank you so much, Jim.